वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर हैविंग अ डिस्कशन अबाउट एन एप्लीकेशन फॉर प्रिपरेशन ऑफ डॉक्यूमेंट्स फॉर अ न्यू ड्रग एप्लीकेशन एंड इवन फॉर एक्सपोर्ट सपोज यू वांट टू एक्सपोर्ट a pharmaceutical products or a herbal formulation which you have prepared if we need uh, the license how we have to apply even this all things are a part of a pharmacist for him to do even if he is a owner or if he is working as a pharmacist or a chemist it is necessary for him to know about all these things and he is the advisor for the applications so this is a preparation of documents for a new drug application first we discuss about that and then we are just giving a two three slides for export also i have added this is about uh, we are dealing with even pharmaceutical products common for even herbal products also we have to know about the same procedures which we have to go through to have the license for manufacturing a new drug and also uh, export drugs to other countries so this is a form form there is i have not taken the whole uh, the form which is given by united states of america fda when even we also have the fda but if you want to have an international level of product we have to know about what is the uh, us standards and how the application how the yeah, food, food and drug administration how they are controlling this uh, procedures we should know about that this is an uh, investigational there are inda is also nda is the new drug uh, application and inda mean investigational new drug application is also there i n d otherwise you will just will say i n d that means investigational new drug application or n d a means in new drug application and uh, this is what an a n d a is also there abbreviated uh, new drug administration we will discuss about that this abbreviations also and also the detail about that what is the difference between that and this is also the part 2 of the application writing the name of the product name of the um, who is the uh, re responsible uh, chemist for manufacturing and also who is the owner and the sponsor all this details and the laboratory address manufacturer marketing area which country all these things we have to mention clearly and a new drug application nda in an application submitted to the fda food drug administration for permission to market a new drug after all phase 1 phase 2 phase 3 you are all study clinical study non clinical study is over how to apply you have studied all the research everything but how to apply for a marketing a new drug to obtain this permission a sponsor submits pre clinical and clinical test data to fda for analyzing the drug information description of manufacturing procedures so objective of this new drug application what is this objective that is whether the drugs proposed labeling packing inserts packing inserts there is cartons and everything packing labeling what all the things you have done is is appropriate and what it should contain these all the objective what it should contain this should be in the application and to get the and get to the approval whether the drug is safe and effective in its purpose of use in its category in its therapeutic use 
in its application and whether the benefit of the drug outweigh the risk studying about the adverse effects to know about that the risk of the use and whether the method used in manufacturing that is also should be specified in this application manufacturing the drug and the controls used to maintain the drug's quality and are adequate whether it is adequate to preserve the drug the stability the preserve the drug identity strength quality and purity these all are the objective of this new drug application so how it is important for a pure pharmacist when he wants to work when he wants to go for work in a pharmaceutical industry he should know all these details how where when what all the details you have to give for a new drug application and documentation required for new drug applications are what happened during the clinical test what the ingredient of the drug formulation are the results of the animal studies how the drug behaves in the body and how it is manufactured processed and packed these are the five documentation required in a new drug application new drug application requirements content and the format of application formatting assembling and submitting new drug and antibiotic applications new drug application summary format and the content new drug admin application technical sections and abbreviated abbreviated new drug application generic drug name application without trade name so abbreviated new drug application means an abbreviated new drug application contains data which is submitted to fda the review and the potential approval of generic drug products no a specific trade name is given by the company so what is generic drug application or termed as abbreviated because in comparison with the new drug application they are generally not required to include pre clinical like animal study and in vitro study and the clinical human trial data established safety and effic effectiveness so that is what the difference for the generic but any abbreviated new drug application means if you know you should write that generic drug product which is given for an application for a new drug or it is is uh, then it can be formulated in different form and we can make it as a new drug application or investigational new drug application is also possible i n a and content and the format of nda that is new drug application number of copies before they used to give in 1985 three copies and now it is only two copies have to be submitted one is archival copy this is a complete copy of an application submission and is intended to serve as a reference source archival copy means you should know that for example in a website when you are taking archive or archival that mean it gives a copy of what is the original completely you to be having a backup 
that can be written that it is a reference it's intended to serve as a reference source for FDA they can take as a reference this contains information which not contained in the reviewal or review copies it is original and review copy it is divided into five or six sections usually six sections we have shown here contain technique and scientific information required by food drug administration fda reviewers whoever if you want to review they use the information required all the six information is needed each of section of review copy is separately bound it should be provided with following co one, a copy of covering letter is needed for any application a copy of the application form which I showed you in the beginning can be downloaded and it can be filled properly copy of overall summary and a copy of index to entire application and index to specific review section both copies are submitted in hard copy the review copy is divided into six technical sessions and should be submitted with each review sessions sections separately bound in the specific color color they used to keep specific color binder this you can remember see how specifically they have some importance in the color of each and every file chemistry manufacturing and control cmc it is short form red color bounded file now clinical pharmacology and toxicology will be in yellow color non sir not now non clinical pharmacology and toxicology will be yellow color human pharmacokinetics and bioavailability study will be given in a orange color file documented and microbiology if required it should be white in color file and the clinical data light brown statistical data in the green these are the six one but still we have added some of them when you come to clinical study we have added extra and the statistical study also we have extra we made it to do nine, 10 points when you are explaining it detail and this is a picture which I made just to for remembrance for the students like the review copy is divided into six technical sessions just now we have seen red color chemistry manufacturing and control it is CMC red color fine yellow color non-clinical pharmacology and toxicology studies in yellow color fine or folder human pharmacokinetics and bioavailability orange color orange color file if microbiology is required when it is white color white color file white color folder and clinical data light brown light brown clinical data statistical data statistical file you can make it into green color so by means of color it can be identified very clearly when you are giving application suppose if they are asking about the six technical sessions in the new drug application you should not leave it clearly you can write that's why I made this slide for you to remember vision listening this is very important for the students to go for the examination. Again, I am repeating red color, chemistry, manufacturing and control. Yellow color, non-clinical pharmacology and toxicology. Orange color, human 
pharmacokinetics and bioavailability white microbiology light brown clinical data green color folder green color file statistical data so this can be easily remembered for technical section for the application of a new drug application assembling for new drug as application folder now we are going to talk about the folder because of the procedure used at the fda food and drug administration to the file the retrieve material from the document rooms where application are kept it is necessary that applicants use or use the colored folders which we have discussed now to bind the archival copy and each technical sections which we have discussed now the cover of each folder should bear the nda number if they know the nda application number every file every folder it should be mentioned that number name of the applicant name of the drug product paper size also even they have given the paper size and the binding all application must be bound on the left side of the page using the united states standard size loose leaf page 8.5 inch into 11 inch size pagination all pages in the application must be numbered and numbering of review copy pages should be same as the numbering of corresponding pages in archival copy see that about the folder colored folders we have discussed all the other colors red green yellow light brown and orange and white files we have seen all colored files and you have to mention nda number if you know and also you have the name of the applicant and the name of the drug product these all things are important for you to mention in the folder when you are submitting this new drug application i hope this slide also students will remember about the color and the folder and the size of the paper and also the page numbers page nation is very important united states standard size loose page of 8.5 into 10 inch you can see the file and the size i have taken to show you just a picture page nation means just like numbering you have to give numbers for each and every page exactly for them to for any finding reference for the for the investigator or the appointing authorities can easily identify the application what is going on what you have written in the form and volume size and identification the volume submitted in hard copy form should be no more than 2 inches thick the thickness packing cotton how to pack in a cotton cardboard cotton the box size 14 into 12 into 9 9.5 inch is recommended for shipment of application to fda because assembling of new drug and application applications are handled and stored separately small boxes may be appropriate for them supplements amendments and post marketing reports the submission format for amendments to pending applications and supplements to approved applications will be same as an original application each submission 
will consist of two copies a complete archival copy and an segmented review copy amendments supplements resubmission reports and other correspondence concerning full applications should be addressed in appropriate fda reviewing divisions volume size and identification just now we have discussed about the thickness of the volume just i have taken this is a thickness should be mentioned in that how much volume identification packing of cotton also we have seen 14 12 and 9.5 inch means that size they are mentioned like this width length and height length width and height was mentioned this is the packing cotton when you are submitting this application to fda they have given mention how to the the freight and the shipping how you how to use a cotton how to use the packing is also they mention what is the color of the file thickness of the files everything the specification is mentioned and it should be clearly done for an application for a new drug application at assembling the new drug application just now what we have discussed i have made a picture to give you a remembrance of every slides what we are discussing because it is purely theory of application so a student want to remember and to write in the exam he should have some vision or he should have some hints of knowing what he has done so assembling the nd new new drug application folders very various colored folders and size paper size and binding which we have seen and pagination numbering of the pagination volume size and identification volume size and identification and a paging of the the packing cotton freight what is the size just now we have seen the length and weight and the height of the cotton and supplements amendments and post marketing reports this also comes under the assembling the new drug application nda that means new drug application summary format and content in detail summary should provide sufficient detail data should be provided in tabular column or graphical form in tabular form or in a graphical form it should be mentioned summary should be between 50 to 200 pages first one annotated or annotated annote or notated annotated you can say notated yes silent notated pack inserts this session include proposed labeling of the product label is plays a major role what color what type of design how you are prepare packing whether it is a liquid oral or it is a tablet or a blister packing this labeling also should be get approved by fda so the proposed label of the product is necessary for you to give the proposed text of the packing labeling must be text of the noted and annotated by reference to volume and page number to the information in the summary and the technical session of the application very important that the page number and you have to keep very detailed about the label in the application and number 2 pharmacological class scientific rational intended use and the potential clinical benefits a brief statement should be included to identify their pharmacological class of the drug the scientific rational or rational for the drug use its intended use actually the rational intended use 
and the potential clinical benefit should be mentioned. The second one, that is a very important before for getting approval. This is just I have taken that anointed packing insert means the label, medicinal information of the label, like product information, product, what is the dosage, inserts, concern, medical information, consuming all the details and uh, mark the copy product and packing inserts also. And the label you see, what type of label I have taken a cotton of a liquid oral when the box in the, bo the cotton itself they will print it and they will send for approval and nowadays it is needed for code even the code date that is for example the digital code also should be mentioned for them once if they are scanning all details should come for the verification Number three, chemistry, manufacturing and control, which we have done in the red color file. The summary must be provided over an overview of the drug substances and drug product. Drug substance, it includes description about drug substance, physical and chemical characteristics and stability of the drug substance. Drug product, it includes information about a. Composition and dosage form B. Name and address of manufacturer Container and closure system And then stability Specification of the drug product and test method to Assure the specification which is given Foreign, now comes the foreign marketing history If a product marketed out Inside the US, regardless of dosage form, strength, salt, ester or complex of the drug, whatever may be you are distributing or marketing in outside the country, the marketing history should be provided in the application. And this should include the list of countries in which drug product is marketed with date of marketing if known it must also include a list of any countries in which there is an withdrawn or any reason related to safety and efficacy any adverse effects it is necessary for you to mention in the application specific reason for withdrawal should be given non-clinical Pharmacology and Toxicology Summary It includes information that Pharmacological study Acute toxicity study Multi-dose toxicity study Carcinogenicity study Special toxicity study Reproductive studies And Mutagenicity studies And Absorption distribution Metabolism elimination studies of the drug like drug kinetic studies and the sixth one is human pharmacokinetics and bioavailability summary is also needed. It includes brief description about bioavailability study of drugs, pharmacokinetic characteristic of active ingredients and dissolution profile of the drug. Microbiology study summary. Here it provides summary of results of the microbiological study conducted with anti-effective and antiviral drug. This includes mechanism of action, antimicrobial spectrum of action mechanism of resistance to the drug clinical data eight one clinical data summary and result of statistical analysis it is based on efficacy and safety with that will determine the new drug application approval the clinical data 
summary and the results of statistical analysis are divided into several parts as described below that is one clinical pharmacology overview of clinical studies controlled clinical studies uncontrolled clinical studies other studies and information safety summary general safety conclusions these all are the parts of statistical analysis in clinical data summary new drug application technical sec section number 1 chemistry manufacturing and controls it is the most crit critical po portion of new drug application and abbreviated new drug application for generic drugs the section must be fully described the composition of the drug substance active ingredients and its synthesis or isolation and purification if it is a could be the herbal drug as well as application process controls specifications and analytical test methods non clinical pharmacology and toxicology it provides a description or summary of all animal and in vitro studies with drug in that pharmacological study number 2 acute toxicity study chronic carcinogenic studies special toxicity studies reproduction studies mutagenicity studies absorption distribution metabolism elimination studies for pharmacokinetics number 3 human pharmacokinetics and bioavailability section for a new clinical entity that is entity nce it is this desirable to determine its bioavailability and pharmacokinetics from a dosage form expect sorry except not expect except that for certain dosage forms like iv solution 100% bioavailability may be assumed that we know that in iv but for solid dosage form like capsule tablet a bioequivalent study is often necessary to demonstrate that formulation proposed for marketing is bioequivalent to whatever formulation may have been employed in earlier clinical trial summary should include table and the following pharmacokinetics parameters cmax auc the, the concentration versus absorption and elimination kel and plasma vd plasma renal clearance and urine extraction i have given this parameter clearly in the next slide for you to explain because sometimes you should know what these abbreviations also which you have studied in your bio pharmaceutics or bio uh, bio pharmaceutics bio availability all these things you might studied in very detail in your seventh semester so the relevant pharmacokinetics parameters include the peak plasma that is what plasma concentration this is what we want to know about the pharmacokinetics parameters plasma concentration cmax the time and the peak plasma concentration tmax elimination rate concentration kel elimination half life t t1 t off sorry area under the plasma concentration time curve that is auc at t time and auc at infinity time zero and clearance cl and volume of distribution vd were determined 
This is what we have explained there. And microbiology, this section is a major important for anti-infective. Repeatedly we have written the same thing and includes data on the biochemical basis of drugs action and an antimicrobial spectra. Any known mechanism of resistance of the drug and the clinical laboratory method. So I hope this will give you a very good idea for you to write about the new drug application. Clinical data session, it is important, it is most important and most com complicated session in the new drug application. It is a part that provides the safety and efficacy data on the, on the drug for intended use. Outline of the cl clinical section, it includes the list of investigator, list of investigator new dr investigational new drugs and also new drug applications, background overview of the clinical investigations, clinical pharmacology, controlled clinical study, uncontrolled clinical study, other studies in information, integrated summary of efficiency, integrated summary of the safety, drug abuse and overdose information, integrated summary of benefits and risk of drugs. So this all list should be there for specified for a clinical study. Samples method, validation and the labeling is also important. Samples should be patient samples, submitted to FDA with application. The reviewing chemist will conduct the application and provide applicant and provide the laboratory address also they should give where the samples should be sent. And the applicant should prefer, prepare the representative samples in sufficient quantity to pre permit FDA to perform. Each test described in the application three times to determine whether the drug substance and the drug product meet the specification given in the application. The archival copy of the application is required to contain copies of label and all labeling process are proposed for the drug product. They may propose two, three labeling proposed can be get approval. The method validation data must be provided in triplicate becomes copy and forward to two FDA laboratories. An eighth one care report forms and tabulation. The sponsor must submit data tabulation from each phase, phase two, phase three study and also the case study report from every clinical trial patient who died or withdrew from the study because of an adverse effect, event or adverse effect the report should be written clearly. Patient information, information must be submitted regarding any patient held by the sponsor that cover the drug substance, formulation and composition of the drug product or method of use. Upon approval of NDA, that means new drug application, this information is published in the Food and Drug Administration's orange book known formally as approved drug products which therapeutically equivalence evaluations and serves as a guide to form wishing to developing generic copies of the in, that is Innovata's products. Last one, patient certification, it is also required by new drug application. So now we finished that new drug application and just I want to enter into the application for an export registration. Export registration, the medicine is the science and uncertainty can be art of the prob prob probability. So it was, it's an export from our country, we are doing 60% of manufacturing of the whole world. So export 
how to get the permission, how to get the approval for exporting even traditional medicine or herbal medicine and also for normal medicines which can be manufactured in a generic form or in a trade form, how to export them. Guidelines for the export of the drug issued by Ministry of Health and Family Welfare. While processing such application, the following conditions shall be taken into consideration. 1. The application shall provide copy of valid export order and no objection certificate will be issued on case by case basis against each such order. The applicant shall identify the premises where the drug will be manufactured for export. The applicant should mention whether the batch of, to be exported has undergone quality control testing or shall be tested at the destined, that is, this destined site. The applicant shall ensure that the drugs manufactured in the basis of no objection certificate given as per one that is number point one provide a copy of the valid export order and OSC will be issued on a case by case based against each order about the export that no part of it is diverted for the domestic sales in India. The application shall make available for inspection of the appropriate authorities on completion of the export orders. Information regarding each consignment batches, batched, remaining stock of the drug also and related raw materials also and intermediate products, intermediate excipients in the hand also. The applicant shall ensure physical destruction of all unexported products, un, unexported quantities, drugs remaining in the premises. They should include as a condition of manufacturing license issued to the applicant by the state licensing authority. The applicant shall ensure that the drug for which the no, NOC no objection certificate has been given shall cease to manufacture or exported if the drug is prohibited in the future in that in the country or in the exporting country or in, sorry or in the importing country that time you have to cease you have to stop the export requirements for the common submission format of issuing no objection Certificate for export. The following documents are required to be submitted in the following manner. An order for issue for no objection certificate for export of a drug from India. Covering letter. Purchase order. Manufacturing license. Proforma invoice. Registration certificate applicable for banded drugs. So this is what a class which I have given how to make an application for a new drug for a new drug application how to make an investigation and new drug application what all the parameters needed what all the things which they have given files how to maintain and export from India what all the requirements and how to export the drugs from India. 60% of the drugs are production of the drugs are from India in the whole world. So we should know about these procedures. You may become, I think you may become sometimes a very very high exporter. Why can't? So this may inspire you. Very very interesting for everyone coming into the business of pharmaceutical field. Thank you. Thank you very much. We will see in the uh, next class. Thank you.